it's deja vu all over again, isn't it? <laughs> and it's very similar to the situation which I faced in 1974. There, are, there was still a great culture of secrecy at the BCMA in those days. You didn't tell the membership too much, and you didn't tell them anything you didn't want them to know. The best thing that we had going for us, to be s straight up with you, was the District 6 newsletter. It uh, was provocative, it was informative, and outrageous. And we all came in for our fair share of flagellation, <laughs> which sometimes you didn't enjoy. But what it did was it excited the attention of the membership. The membership knew what was going on, and the membership were told if the bad things were going on. We didn't enjoy it all the time, you know, when you're in administration and all that sort of stuff, but it was the best weapon we had going for us. And it had an impact on government, had an impact on administration, and um, uh, if it wasn't for the uh, uh, BCMA news, I think we would have been in bad shape. The thing that it did too was that it, uh, the interest of the membership became very, very high. Uh, people uh, contested uh, 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 positions on the board, uh, positions of the officers of the association, and there was this great feeling that the membership were really interested in what we were doing. Very helpful. And then the next thing that happened, which I thought really sort of changed things in Canada, instead of having a chairman of the board of governors and the Board of Governors ran the hospital and made the policy, the clerk to the governors, or the administrator, became the president of the hospital. And then governments and other bodies started to deal with the president of the hospital, not the hospital board, not the chairman of the board, and bypassed them. And all of a sudden, the administrator or the president of the hospital uh, became the Gauleiter and became the person who really ran the hospital. And that sort of thing really changed things because the hospital board had no further authority or power, so therefore that uh, district was not well represented uh, to government by the hospital board, and the doctors were no longer represented well to government. And the president, so-called, was making all the decisions. And that was very bad, because the president was a creature of government. And then the last thing, of course, that happened to the hospital boards was that they were abolished. <laughs> they no longer had any influence whatsoever. It was a progression. So the BCMA now are, are not only um, um, uh, beholden to governments, but they're beholden now to the regional boards. I think the profession, all the people that I talk to, and I still talk to a lot of doctors who know me, they're upset. They feel that they're uninformed. They don't know what's going on. But I think what you really have got to do is a group of you have got to get together who are interested in doing it and start publishing a broadsheet, a successor to District 6 News and BCMA News. And then you can get these people to account. You, you can uh, criticize the board of directors. You can point out things they haven't done. You can point out things which have been done badly. And you can point out to government the mistakes they're making in health care. Because believe me, governments are very sensitive to criticism, and they're very sensitive, and they were sensitive to the BCMA news. 